On any given day in the United States, airlines operate 45,000 commercial flights, taking off, landing, and taxiing at some of the busiest airports in the world. Delivering millions of passengers precisely and safely can be a delicate dance. One mistake can bring it all to a halt. Runway incursions uh, have been around since we've had more than one runway. Former NTSB investigator Bill English recalls the Tenerife disaster of 1977. Two Boeing 747s slammed into each other on the runway. More than 500 people died. Runway incursions have been a pretty tough nut for decades in aviation. Bill and I, both pilots and flight instructors, met at Flight School Aviation Adventures in Virginia. Here, student pilots are taught about runway incursions almost immediately in their training. Let's turn yeah. out. In the pilot seat of this Diamond Twin Star trainer, Bill and I are setting out on a demonstration of what goes into a runway incursion and what keeps pilots from making mistakes that could be deadly. There are a lot of layers built in here, a lot of protections to prevent, even when something does go wrong, from it becoming catastrophic. Five cameras are rolling to show some solutions are as simple as markings on taxiways that lead to runways. The yellow hold short line reminds pilots not to enter a runway, a holy grail of paint matched by crucial phrases between pilots and air traffic control. This executive airport in Leesburg lacks some of the technology that the FAA is deploying at busier airports nationwide. Warning lights embedded in the pavement of taxiways and runways, even new radar that can track planes and other vehicles on the ground. Power back to 50%. Uh, I've got the airport at sight. We are navigating to a landing at Dulles International Airport, one of the D.C. area's busiest, with four runways. Three of them are parallel to each other. Even though we're landing in clear weather, Bill dialed in a radio beacon used for poor visibility landings to point us at the proper runway. I'm approaching the airport here, and in the interest of time, we've edited out some of the turns directed by air traffic control to line us up with the runway. I've been cleared for the approach, and now I've been cleared to land. Let it come down. Let it come down. There you go. Nice. That's the picture. Turning exactly where controllers tell you on the ground is just as important as the commands given in the air. Bill points out to me how he's using an iPad app to track where we are on the airport grounds. How important is being aware of where you are on the airport, especially at a busy airport like Dulles here. Well, that's absolutely critical because we look where we are right here. We've got airplanes coming in, coming out of the uh, the terminal there, both directions uh, all the time. You know, at an airport like this, there are multiple different runways aligned with one another. Right. But it, I feel like it becomes even more precarious at an airport when it has crisscrossing runways. Yeah, exactly. When things make the news, like runway incursions, and you have to be almost extra vigilant as you're flying. I mean, runway environment, especially at an airport like this, um, you absolutely have to be extra vigilant. And you know, with what we've seen lately, I think everybody's uh, up, got their head on a swivel now. Yeah. We are now taxiing to take off from a different runway at Dulles, runway 30, which crosses in front of the northbound runways we just used to land. Air traffic control tells us to take off with the flight approaching those runways from the south. My normal flying is typically from a smaller country airport. It's not as busy, and there's no air traffic control tower. What's clear from this demonstration is that the nature of these incidents has not changed, but they have put a new spotlight on safety. I think dealing with the problems, that's what we do in aviation. We, we try to build that robust system where safety is paramount. All right, coming on back. I come down. Hold it right there. Just hold it right there. You're perfect. Got the hang of it on the second one. You got it. <laughs>